Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install the OHD Core Mod Kit or the Operation Harsh Doorstop SDK. So, uh, and then afterwards um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about what I think of it so far. I've merely opened the SDK once and um, I haven't really looked through everything like uh, what is in the SDK and stuff. So that's stuff that i'm still gonna go through and then maybe later on um i'll make another video or whenever i start making my first tutorial on the sdk um i will know a little bit better of where everything is and how everything works so first thing that you need to do is when you have the epic games launcher open what you want to uh, do is go to the store page so i'm already here and then here by the search bar, all you need to do is type in OHD. Like so. And then so once you type that in, it should pop up saying OHD Core. And then once you click on it, it will open um, the OHD Core mod kit page. Now as you can see, uh, there's a few um, screenshots here. So it's not a lot, but and then if you scroll down, they have like a short little description here. Um, so there's not much going on here yet because the SDK is, I mean, it only came out, um, on the 20th, so that's like, what, um, one, two, three, four, like, almost like a week ago, um, so the SDK is fairly, um, early still, um, so expect stuff not to be... Oh, there's not a lot of information on their SDK page yet, so it's not as ma mature as the as the squad or Insanity Sandstorm SDK. Um, and those games are also obviously way bigger than OHD. Uh, but um, yeah, so um, once you you are here, um, you guys will see it showing in library for me already because I already got it. But um, if you haven't got it yet it should show like get now i think and so once you click on that button it would uh i think it took me like a it for me like a minute or so because it uh this like page like froze and then a little bit afterwards it um just refreshed and it said in library and so once you've done that all you need to do is come over here to the library tab here on the left and then as you can see it's showing here on top um, now I have opened it um, like a few minutes ago just for the first time and um, it does look like that it does load up a little bit faster than the squad editor um, and like the sandstorm editor now um, what you would need to do is usually um, I have it like on the installed filter but you can you can click on all and then I do have it like so it shows like in a list here but um, that is just uh, your preference by, may vary but uh, once you're here uh, obviously mine is installed already but it should have like if you right click or, or if you left click on it for the first time it should bring the install uh, thing up now the, uh, the SDK is fairly big it's 130 gigabytes I think so it took me like almost a whole day to download it I have like a 4 megabytes per second uh, download so it did take me it, it still it did still take me a few hours to download um, but um yeah once you have it open um, I'm gonna quickly launch it here and then we'll talk a little bit about what I think of it so far
Alright, so um, that did take like a minute or so to open. Um, now, as you guys saw, it does open a lot faster than the squad and then Sandstorm SDK. But um, I think the reason for that is because there's not, like, I mean, the SDK is big. But there's not a lot of stuff going on yet, I think. And I think as they update, as they're going to update the SDK more, um, I think it will take a bit longer to load up as it gets updated and whatnot um but um yeah so this is the sdk um one thing that i want to talk about first is there isn't really a official way of creating a mod with the sdk yet so if you guys are familiar with the squad sdk for instance um the sandstorm sdk uses mod.io so it's a little bit different and squad uses the steam workshop um, now what I've heard is they're, um, they're, it's going to be implemented later on but they want to do something similar to how Arma 3 mods work um, so I don't know if that will be possible like I, I think it will be it I mean it might be but um, it will still work through the workshop but I mean Arma is made like the way mods work in Arma is uh, specifically made like that um, with the engine that Arma uses so it's purposely built um, to work like that like the mods and stuff but um, we'll see um, I don't really know what uh, they're planning as of yet and um, like I said before um, this is like the second time me opening the SDK so what I'm gonna quickly do is uh, the folder structure it's a bit confusing for me at the moment so I'm guessing the HD core content is where like all the main stuff is so um, if you were planning on making a map or whatever um, I'm not exactly sure where you would because um, I, I can't really tell you guys as of yet because I haven't uh, like looked through it where everything is like I can't really tell you guys where to go and create like a folder and put all of your stuff in there so usually when you make a mod you have your own content um, folder here on the left and when you click on it all of your stuff is separated from the main SDK stuff so um, I'm guessing if you were going to make a map like it won't really matter um, but um, you could like maybe just in here in HD core content make a new folder and um, start working on a mod or whatever um, now I don't know uh, how it's going to work once they implement um, actually creating a mod how you would like I mean you might be able to once you create a mod just drag and drop it over and it will just like automatically do all of the references stuff and whatever for you um, but um, yeah I'm gonna quickly because I was just playing around um, earlier well I haven't really done much but if you go into the HD core and go into the maps folder and open the startup map this is like the main menu it seems like so um, launching it is also a lot faster than um, squads thing if you want to like start playing so I'm just gonna stop this music now if you go to single player uh, there's like a little Training ground. I also don't know um, how you can change the teams and stuff because um, on this training grounds, uh, what I've seen is it's still like the the old um, like character model, I think, and um, like the other like weapons they have. So it's not like the new. Um, like I haven't found where to change the teams to where. You can use like the new M4 stuff and um, and then like new character that they've uh, have been playing with on the playtests. So um, yeah, so let's just let this load. Um, I won't keep you guys up for too long, but I just want to quickly show you guys around this little test range. Um, now, one thing that is cool about the OHD is the, the main thing is that they are like also working on AI 
so that you can play with AI and also implement AI into your mod. Um, now, I'm not sure how they are going to make it so that you can implement it in your mod, but um, I think it should be fairly simple. Like once they have like the AI fairly uh, like polished where like an actual good AI and they can do a lot of stuff. Um, but um, yeah, so let's just see. This did take me, like the first time I loaded this up, it did take me a few seconds. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so, and up here on the left, if you guys are not used to, um, like the spawning thing, this looks like how you switch teams. Um, and then here is like the different classes. Oh, I see here. Oh, there's the... Okay. Um... I haven't really, I didn't see this like earlier, so when the first time I opened it, but it does look like they have the, like the, that Mark 18, like M4 and stuff in here already. Um, I just didn't scroll down, that's why I didn't see it. So, it looks like it's still here. Um, obviously this is a shooting range, so all of the weapons I'm guessing is like unlocked. So, um, so this one doesn't have a suppressor, so let's just spawn all that and walk a little bit around here so um if you guys haven't played the ohd or any of the uh playtest yet or whatever um like the footstep sounds and all that stuff like i'm sure that's not really a priority for them at the moment they're like more um like working on the main features of uh, and stuff um of ohd um but i'm here this is fairly a big um a big training range so i'm not sure if there's ai enabled on this map specifically but i'm sure there might be a way to like enable it like like i said before i will have to play around with the stk yet um and whatnot to, like figure out where everything is and then I can start maybe compiling a few uh, tutorials I can make for people to um, start doing stuff so there is a lot of other um, people that I've seen screenshots of working on maps and whatever already um, so um, yeah there is there is a lot of people that are starting to make stuff um, but the SDK has a long way to go. Um, so yeah. This is fairly big. Um, not exactly sure. Oh, you can press M. Okay, so. Um, yeah, we're actually basically like on the other team. On. But um, yeah, I just want to quickly show you guys like how it looks like. Um, and um, I'm kind of happy that it doesn't really take as long to... Uh, to, um, to open like a map or just play test something in the SDK because that's something that gets a lot very annoying uh, for the squad SDK but um yeah so um one thing I will say before I end this video I don't want to make it too long it's already like 14 minutes long is um, if you are interested in making something with the OHD core um, I guess um, if you really want to, because it's still very early, I myself, I don't think I'm gonna start working on something as of yet, because I would rather wait uh, for the SDK to mature a little bit more and implement official modding stuff so that you can create your own mod and then you have like your own content folder and you put everything in there. Um, and... Um, the folder structure is fairly confusing, not that much, but if you've worked with the Squad SDK or Unreal in general, you would gen um, generally you have a know-how around everything and where, what the standard sort of folder structure is for UE4 games or projects. But um, yeah, so uh, this is the HD SDK. So um. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe 
Um, I think we're over 900 subscribers right now. Um, I'm really happy that I finally uh, got over that like 900 subs. Uh, my my goal is still to get it to a thousand. So if you're not subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.